Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, I haven't been on for a while. Um, but I, um, I, hope this, I hope the lighting is good because one of the lights have gone out on there. Um, I'll just talk to you a minute for, for a minute. I'll just put this here for a bird to look at. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I haven't been very happy. I've, my um, kitten has passed away. My Well, she was four years old and she um, passed away uh, uh, now a week ago now and um, it's been very sad. I didn't want to come on here and say because I knew I was going to talk about it because you know me I like to talk about things and I couldn't talk about it. Anyway, um, she um, was a good girl and um, but anyway uh, she was a, had a, she was a character. She had a little a lot, you know person, wonderful personality. But anyway, I thought to myself, now, someone I know over in America, her name is Sharon, she lost one of her kitties and she went and got another kitty. And to help. So as a, um, I wasn't even tribute to my cat, I suppose, I say, I've, got, I've got another one. <laughs> it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little thing, it'll fit in my hand and it's beautiful and we're calling her Minky today, but then it could I thought I started calling her Velcro because she kept getting her claws stuck to everything and I've got a tiny little bottle that I had because I've got to give her milk because it's not quite lean from her mum but the lady wanted me to take her because she's got, the mother had six of them so anyway so that's good, I'm, I'm uh, sad but happy and you know, yeah. but anyway so today I'm coming on here because I wanted to show you what I'm doing um, and I hope I've got everything nearby to show you how I did all this. Um, I did, um, I sort of experiment, and I, I suppose other people have done this sort of thing, and I don't know if they have or not, but I've been putting, um, serviettes onto fabric, and stitching them, and they make a, make a, um, what's the name, a pocket, I have got a whole heap of stuff here that I've been working on to try and make, a book. One of these days I will put the book together. <laughs> I've got bits and pieces everywhere. I have another bit of that that I did in a long piece too on the fabric. Where, where did that go? Because it was my practice piece to see if it would work. I don't know if I've seen anybody do it. Maybe I have. I guess I just sitting here playing around and thought well I'll have a go at that. So first of all, first of all I started doing these bits here on now I packed all this here so I could just reach it and um, show you but you know how some gremlin just came in while I was just having a glass of water <laughs> ah dear never mind it's all good um, now I did a few others but I wasn't very happy with the, with the colours that came out this one here I put um, on paper so this one here I put on um, really dark a really old dark recipe book pieces of paper and he's and he's sort of still yellowish isn't he that one there is on the music paper and that doesn't look too bad does it you know you have to be careful I'm going to show you how I did it in a minute but you've got to be careful putting it on because otherwise you'll take it off this one doesn't look too bad I could turn them into something you, you never know I might put a bit of my podge on there this one here's looking better as it's drying it's sort of really is a really bright napkin anyway and this one here, you can hardly see the oh, because that one's on that there. You can see the you can see the music through there. And this one here, you can see the music through there. Um, I'm sure people have done these before. So, um, I, but I wanted to show you how to do it anyway, because so, I was that's what I'm doing today, having a bit of uh, a play with these things. And I've got another bit of on the fabric, and I don't know where I put it. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? Nobody can it because it'll be something here for sure later on okay right so um dear oh dear but anyhow i'm going to put some on now and show you how it's done i'm going to use a really stiff brush because i didn't put this in oh it's not too bad okay so you need some you need some mod, mod podge okay mod podge uh your serviette of course so the serviettes have got um well, i might get a different one i think I've already got the bird, haven't I? Let's do something different. Oh, here, this is pretty. Look. Oh, this one is beautiful. Now, um, 
I might put it on the fabric first because I want to, I want to put a, make a pocket. This is my pocket, and I just you know you can put these in your your junk journals or whatever. I put a piece of um, what's the name paper on the back. Uh, handmade paper would come out of a book. I didn't do it. I didn't make it myself. <laughs> okay, I've had it for years and years and years and years. Anyway, so we've got one of these serviettes here. And you've got to take a part because you need a brush. Or whatever you want to use um, on it, you need to be careful though, because I, I was a bit rough and I, I, I might have had to put a couple in the bin because I might have torn them. But you're going to take these apart. It's not as hard as I'm making it look though. Some of them have got two plies and some of them only got one. That means this bit on the back here, okay? Now I've put these on the cardboard and stuff like that and card and things, but I've not um, not tried the fabric yet, so I wanted to do that today because I haven't had a go at it, so I'll have a go. Okay, now, we're going to put, oh dear, I might get the lid off this. This is me, this is me main problem, is getting the lid off it, because it always gets stuck around the outside, of course. So we want a bit of Mod Podge and a piece of Calico. Now I'm going to put it, you can tear it if you want to first. I'll have a go at that, because I did it with the others. I never tore them, because I just, you know, I thought I'd cut it after. I'm just going to really, really badly wreck that. <laughs> Okay, now put some mud podge on there. Oh dear, my glue, my drawing thing's not plugged in. It's okay, it won't take me long to plug that in. Now I'm dripping this all over the place. I think I've got too much, but I noticed when I was doing the fabric different to the paper, it was, um, you needed a bit, of, a bit more, okay? You need a bit more glue, right? And this, well, mud podge, because there's what, mud podge is a, um, Ooh, now look at making wrinkles, me. Look at me. But anyway, it's okay. It's all like art. <laughs> right? I'm going with that. It's art. Okay? So anyway, we're putting it down and I'm getting it, I'm picking it up and getting it stuck and if I keep fiddling with it, I'm going to end up with nothing, aren't I? So we do, we do that. Quite simple, really. That's really, really easy, isn't it? Now we get one of these um, heat guns. Mine's had a been yeah, it's well. I, I remember the first time I got a bit of stuff on it, I thought, oh, i better clean that before I put it away. And that was then, and it's now, and it's still the same. I'm going to make a noise now, okay? Won't be a second. Don't put it too close to the noise, and I don't like this heat thing going near my camera. I don't know if it's going to ruin it or not, but I'm getting the new camera. I've seen any claws was going to be something else, but I think I'll go with the camera. I was going to get a machine, but I think I'll go with the camera. I'll use, I'll use it more. I just had a little bit too much piled up there together. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm, like I said, I'm trying to keep the heat back away from... I'll just dry that off a bit and go. the back a bit. Paper, paper takes no time at all to do. You can, you know, it dries pretty straight. You don't have to do this. This is only, you know, you can do it, put it um, in the sun or something or just hang it up until it's dry. I'm going too far melting it again. I don't know. That, that's an issue. I've got more. What have I got here? I did too, didn't I? Look, isn't that amazing? Sonia went and did the back, melted the glue, and went back on there. <laughs> ah! I melted it and spit it off everywhere. And I'll do it on the front and try and heat it. It must have melted, because why would it have done that? Because us ladies out there does this all the time. You can tell me what, what, I'm done, what I've done wrong, but I didn't do that the last time. I just spit the glue, uh, glue off here, the Mod Podge off it. Anyway, so now we've got that done. Believe me, it does work if you don't do it on the back too much, because I might have put, I might have put too much Mod Podge on there. Okay, so now um, you've got your piece of stuff. <laughs> stuff. You've got your nice piece of calico with a picture on it that you have got really for cheap <laughs> because you're gonna just have to buy the 
thing and the calico doesn't cost much and then you can get whatever sort of picture you like and it will go with lots of things in your books if you've got this you know if you're using anything like that so you could cut it out better than i did because i will fix that later i might try and trim it back so i can have it just a couple of pieces i don't know yet you know i could just use a couple of areas like maybe that part there you know i might leave that and that way it'll make a nice pocket all right because then i just get the piece of um whatever i want to put behind it and so i can just stick that in my book now and then i just put this onto it i'm terrible i'm having a terrible time trying to cut things out straight today let's have a go and see if we can do this properly now it feels real soft and, and nice you know but it, and it's going to be really sturdy your, your, your serviette's not going to all break up okay so that's how i did that now the paper one is quite easy too really let me see um now want a piece of um, i did you i did use a piece of this to do one let me see if i got that no that wouldn't be here that'd be too easy wouldn't it okay <laughs> just let me show you what it looks like on the paper i'll put it on music paper if i can find a piece of music paper here there's a bit that will have been oh, there we go piece of music paper and we'll have this one again this one on and all you do of course is exactly the same thing um make sure you peel all the bits off the back of this and you've got a piece of the last one on the brush here now <coughs> that on there i'm gonna make sure i was gonna make sure we've got that little butterfly but i don't think i put anything underneath him but have a look at it I've got too much i've got too much glue on this thing really have i suppose you know <laughs> i'll just go with it anyway i'm not I'm, this is all i've never done this sort of thing <laughs> since kindergarten <laughs> i've seen people do it <laughs> so you're gonna have to forgive me i'm not i'm a bit rough <laughs> when it comes to doing things to do with paper i suppose i'm learning i did pull that off there oops because I love the things that people come up with. Oh, dear, it's so good. So good. And I sit there and I watch and think, oh, oh, I need to go and do that. Sonia, come on. So see, this, if I'm pulling this off like that, it's giving it a nice edge. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I think I'm smart. <laughs> anyway, that's... A bit more of the dry. And that looks neat, doesn't it? Must be that good serviette I put on there. Look at that, brilliant. Except for the wrink except for the wrinkles. <coughs> yeah, mate, nearly choked. <coughs> Didn't breathe in breathe in too much air. <coughs> okay. Right here. So there you go, that's how it works on the paper. And it'll dry a lot better than that, you know, because I just give it a little bit of a dry, but oh, look, even these bits are a bit of a bit wacky. That doesn't matter, does it? Looks really cool. So then you use that as well of course in your junk journals or whatever you're making um then i made these here which is really easy too i just got a piece of calico and got a piece of a, a tag thing and i sewed that round there with the, with the machine and i put some fabric on there i love to put paper and material together i think they look amazing right um so that's what I've been doing and I'll just show you these other bits that I'm making and maybe one day I'll get that book together okay making I've been making these I've been getting these off the internet but you know what that's where we get our stuff from don't we off the internet the majority of it so I printed these off on fabric and I'm going to do something with those like those bits you know put them on fabric. I've got to push the stitches on still on paper though that's okay and I'll stitch around that and I've got these bits and this bit and I don't know what I'm going to do with that bit yet. Beaut oh, this is a beautiful bunny. Look at that. And the house. I've done that previously. But all this stuff here I've collected up to try to put together in a book. Okay? And I've also been, been putting um, pieces of lace onto um, uh, material and then onto card. And that's a piece of fabric and it's sort of stitched onto a piece of um 
the pattern paper so I've been doing a bit of that and I don't know whether I could you could ask me to show you how I'm putting it together because I don't think I could do that I don't I could be, I'll agonize over it for hours and weeks and days you see so maybe I'll show it to you if I ever get it made but anyway so that's what I've been doing to make my um my journal's not actually going to be a junk journal I suppose it's a it's a whatever that is anyway so there we go I've been doing that anyway I'm going to come back in a minute I'm going to show you something else now with the fabric okay so thank you everybody for watching and thank you so much to all my new subscribers I really appreciate you and I really love to see your comments I can't um since something's happened with my computer or YouTube or something I can't put, put, write out an answer to anybody For I can do a little heart but if I start to write an answer it'll all go away on me I don't know what I'm doing it might be a bug in my computer I don't know I can't blame YouTube all the time although it seems to work on everything else but anyway so um, just let, if you leave your comments and, and subscribe to my channel it'd be really nice and then you can go and see what other things that I make and do okay so thank you everybody for watching and I'll talk to you later bye bye